senior officials on special, special leave amid allegations of corruption. The suspended officials are accused of selling jobs. Now, for more on this, we're joined by the Midval Executive Mayor, Bongani Baloy. Mayor, thank you very much for your time this evening. Thank you for having me on the show. Uh, I guess one would, would want to know exactly how deep the rot goes. Um, how many officials at this stage have been placed on special leave and how many have been suspended? The, the deputy municipal manager has been placed on special leave. Um, we gave him intention to suspend and he, today was his last day to respond. So tomorrow I'll be tabling his response to council. I've also uh, um, <coughs> suspended the MMC for, uh, for corporate services. In fact, she volunteered to step aside amid the allegations when I wrote to her and informed her of the allegations that's, that I received about her. So she volunteered to step aside, uh, following which I suspended her and a commander for actually wanting to start the process as soon as possible and stepping uh, aside. Mm. Uh, how long, uh, preliminary investigations at this point, how deep does uh, the rot go? We're mm. talking about uh, the sale of uh, jobs. Mm. Um, how deep does the rot go? Um, what do your prelim preliminary investigations suggest at this mm. point? And uh, totaling approximately how much? How many people have been duped? Look, um, I initiated the, the, the first uh, uh, investigation through uh, our external auditors after getting numerous complaints from the community. So I said, let's audit the process, which, which started about four weeks ago. Mm -hmm. So all of this unfolding now, the main trigger is that uh, audit report, which, I mean, the audit investigation, which I initiated in that department to, to verify if the, the claims by my community is actually true. Mm -hmm. And what is coming out is quite alarming and very concerning for me because it, it, on the face of it, it appears there's some serious questions to be asked to some uh, senior individuals to account for what has allegedly happened. So I'm actually, uh, um, at this stage, um, in fact, uh, not surprised how some individuals are responding to this, because if you had seen, uh, uh, I mean, the allegations over a period of time, mm -hmm. it is quite clear that where there's smoke, there's fire. Mm. What are we looking at here in terms of uh, uh, requests for monies for these jobs Look, because yeah. part of uh, this whole uh, investigation that was conducted part of the findings seemed to suggest that even for interviews proper process had not been followed in mm -hmm. some instances where mm -hmm. in other cases of course uh, there, were, th there was monies that Correct. had exchanged hands. Correct. I think we must also not conflate the issues. The, the ones you're referring to is in relation to the deputy municipal manager yeah. who uh, allegedly uh, did not follow up uh, um, human resource processes Correct. by instructing an official to allegedly uh, prepare confirmation letters before an interview had happened. Mm. Then the others relates to a number of opportunities, in fact, for general worker positions where uh, allegedly someone has been selling jobs there as well. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the report you're referring to has not been presented to me yet, mm -hmm. but it's as a result of the probing from this uh, uh, auditors that a number of things have come out and people are starting to speak. Are more heads expected to roll? Uh, in this particular instance, uh, how net, how wide are you casting this net? Look, we, we, we're casting the, the net very wide because it's something that we must begin to establish the extent of it and to root it out and show people what we do with corruption because it's something that must never be tolerated, must be dealt with because these allegations are very strong allegations and on the face of it suggests that those of our residents who were actually qualifying to, to, to get those job opportunities did not on the basis of the economic uh, situation, which is something that's deeply regrettable if that's the situation because we govern to assist our people and not to re exclude our people. I recall in the run-up uh, to you uh, becoming mayor of Midval, you'd spoken quite strongly against uh, uh, issues of corruption. Now, this mm. is all happening right under your nose. Certainly, certainly. Remember, there was a whistleblower who wrote to my office last week, Monday. And today already I've taken decisive steps. So also this, what we must not take away from this is that this is the confidence of the whistleblower that if I inform the, the, the mayor of the municipality, he'll be able to deal with the corruption, even though it also includes an MMC who he has appointed, including a deputy municipal manager. So for me, this is also a show in confidence, and I must deliver and deal with this alleged corruption. And that's why I tabled it in council within the expected period of time. It is me who initiated these investigations yeah. to get to the bottom of it, to understand uh, and to ensure that people 
people are doing their jobs and not messing around when they should be. Take us into your confidence. I spoke a bit earlier on about uh, how many uh, uh, more people are you expecting uh, to, to investigate, I guess, mm -hmm. or even hold to account, because it clearly seems uh, at face value at this stage mm -hmm. that um, uh, the situation is much deeper than it had seemed initially, Correct. where you've got uh, very, very senior people within the municipality mm -hmm who have been involved in this alleged uh, corruption. I guess uh, these are not the only heads that will roll? Look, I don't want to preempt the outcome of a but process. But it's possible. It is possible. On the strength of the information, which is tabled before us, and council has also commissioned its independent uh, investigations onto these allegations to prove those allegations and also to advise us on a, on a way forward. Mm -hmm. In the event there's criminal activity, it will be dealt with. Uh, as such, and it will ensure that not just council processes, but will engage with the South African Police Service to deal with it, because if it is criminality, it must be dealt with. How do you then deal with the issue of those who did not follow due process, uh, relating to issues of interviews? Mm. Um, has this investigation stretched as far as seeing if those people were indeed given those jobs, and then what process then will follow mm. uh, to ensure that those who are in those positions without Mm -hmm. following proper procedure or perhaps had been uh, favoured uh, mm -hmm. allegedly by mm -hmm. certain individuals. What then happens then? Uh, give us some clarity related to Look, that. On that as well, I would not want to preempt, yeah. and this is why, um, because I've also made an appeal for, for full disclosure from those who, who were part of this one way or another, so, so, and there's also an investigation continuing at this point in time. So all of those matters will be clarified once we've completed our investigation as well and took into consideration the extent and who, and then we'll proceed into how we deal with it. But I mean, uh, basically, uh, how many people are we looking at here? Mm. Uh, it, it seems to be, look, these are mere allegations at this mm -hmm. stage that need to be tested. Correct. But, but it seems to be, uh, I guess, one of the biggest scandals under your administration currently, something that's taken place. Yes, mm -hmm. you initiated mm -hmm. it, but it happened right underneath your nose. Mm. Look, certainly. There's, a, there's what we call an accounting officer yeah. who is responsible for the administrations. So, so as the executive mayor, once these were brought to my attention, I dealt with them sufficiently and continue to do so. Mm -hmm. So we'll definitely continue that we don't uh, and deal with this and ensure that we don't hide corruption and deal with it uh, and expose it to people and actually show how we deal with corruption and that we don't have an appetite for it. So we'll ensure that at various levels where there were shortness or weaknesses uh, with individuals employed to perform a particular function, those will be dealt with. But then what I'm, I'm yeah. avoiding to do to get into the space of preempting the entire discussion yes before we've concluded the investigation. All right, I'm afraid that's where we're going to have leave it for now. The Midvale mm -hmm. Mayor, Bongani Baloy, thank you very much for talking to us about uh, se senior uh, executives uh, that have been suspended within his municipality.